Hello, this is Dr. Salvatore Vinciguerra, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you about ledger lines. Ledger lines are the lines that extend the staff either above the staff or below the staff. And this is not only for um, you know, piano students, but there are many different instruments that utilize these leisure lines when they play their musical instrument. Leisure can be spelled L-E-D-G-E-R or L-E-G-E-R. So you might say to yourself, well, how do you find out the name of the note all the way at the top of the staff or below the staff? And the best answer I can tell you is know the names of your clef first. Again, this is the treble clef or the G clef, so the second line names G. And for our lines, you have every good boy does fine. And to review, the spaces are F, A, C, E. For bass clef, this is also known as the F clef, and the fourth line is named F. And we have good boys do fine always. And the spaces are all cows eat grass. You notice that if we were to start at the first line of treble clef and go line, space, line, space, line, space, that they go up alphabetically. And to review, there are seven letters in the musical alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and after G, you go back to A. So following that pattern of these seven notes, and starting with the first line of treble clef, you have E, the space is F, the line is G, the space is A, the line is B, and so forth. It goes alphabetically up in this pattern, or backwards in the alphabet, going backwards from E to get whatever notes are below the staff. The same is true for bass clef, that um, you know, you're using the alphabet to name these lines and spaces. The first line is G, the first space is A, the line is B, C, D, and so forth going up the staff. Here's the first example above the staff in treble clef. And if we were to say to ourselves, well, what is the name of the top line in treble clef? We would go, every good boy does fine. Then you would go alphabetically up to G for this space, A for this line, B for this space in between these two lines, and then C for the second line or the second leisure line above the treble clef staff. Here's another note, but it's below the treble clef staff. So I have to know the first line of treble clef, and that is E. Go backwards in the alphabet to get the space, which is D. The line would be C, and below this line would be the note B. And if you had other leisure lines below this, you would continue to go backwards alphabetically. Here's an example in bass clef, and it's above the staff. So you need to know the top line of the bass clef staff. So you would say to yourself, good boys do fine always. And if the top line of the staff is A, then this space above it is B, and this line would be C, and you would keep going up above the staff al alphabetically, line, space, line, space. Here's another example in bass clef. You notice that it's below the staff. So you would have to say to yourself, well, what's the name of the first line in bass clef? That is G. The space below that is F, and this note on this line is E. If you had other notes below this, you would just continue to go backwards in the alphabet to figure out the line or space for that name of the note. This piano example is out of Alfred's Adult Piano Course, Book 1, and beginners have to play 
in these ledger lines for bass cleft using a two-fingered chord while the right hand is playing a melody in the treble clef and it continues for most of the piece but a beginning piano student does need to know about ledger lines so that they can play these simple pieces in book one. This is an example from one of my band scores. The top line of the score has the flute part and you notice that the flute has to stay up in this very high range of their instrument and play the melody using all of these different ledger line notes throughout their part. This is an example from the same score. This is a tuba part and you notice that the tuba uses ledger lines below the staff. Then the melodic contour has the melody going back onto the staff. Thank you for watching this video on leisure lines and basic music theory. Please watch out for more videos like this and learning to read and write music. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to this channel, and have a great day. Thank you.